Hi there folks, it's uh, Joe, aka the Beardy Wine Guy here. Um, really special video today. Um, I'm super excited. I've just spoken to Hannah, my colleague at Bottles Wine Bar and Merchants, and I'm getting some wine delivered because obviously I'm stuck in my house and uh, I'm here at the window like a little kid uh, waiting for it to turn up so I can do an unboxing of the wine and uh, we can talk about what's in there and things like that. Uh, a little bit about the delivery service. Um, it's a, a contactless, safe delivery service. Uh, loads and loads of different products, wines, beers, spirits. Uh, I'm gonna be putting all of the ordering uh, details in the description down below. So now I'm just here waiting. So really, really excited. Oh, when's she turning up? Oh, oh, I'm so excited. It's like wine Christmas. Shaking. This is what wine deliveries do to me. Oh. Oh my God, she's here. Oh Christ. Quick. Oh. Oh my God, she's here, look. Bottles, branded, branded van, beautiful. Gloved up. So you can zoom in. Gloved up, fantastic. Um, and before I run down and say hello, I'm gonna, um, come, I'm gonna wait until she's dropped the boxes and we're out of contact range. Which is awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't want to be filmed, but it's exciting. <gasps> I'm going to go down and get my wine. Woo! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Ignore the mess in the house. It's not too bad, actually. Oh. Oh. Here it is. Oh my God. Enjoy. Thanks, mate. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. It's going to be amazing. All right. Okay. See you, mate. Right. Let's get these inside. Hey there, folks. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, um, an unboxing um, of the wines. Uh, I've got this from Bottles Wine Bar Merchants. You saw Hannah delivering them direct to my house. Um, and I've got six bottles of wine here. Um, they're running something called lockdown bundles, uh, so you can bundle together um, some pre-picked wines uh, of lots of different kinds um, and you're going to be getting really good value for money because uh, I paid 70 quid for six bottles of wine. Now I know there are sparkling wines in there, reds and whites, I just don't know exactly what we're going to be getting. Which makes it super exciting, you know, it's like, like I said, wine Christmas, I'm going to open my presents. Right, let's get started, shall we? Oh, okay. Let's go for the sparklers first. Right, brilliant. So we've got a, a Carva Brut, Pata Negra, organic. So this is gonna be from Spain, from in and around uh, Penedes region. Um, I think it's gonna be 100% Macabeo or Viora. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, check out my viewer video and you'll learn a little bit more about that. Uh, it's not a reserver, so it's going to be probably on the lease, on the on the yeast, for about nine months. Check out the podcast. Uh, I'm doing a section on Carver this week. Um, and it looks great. So what am I expecting from taste? Uh, probably, you know, green apple, some citrusy elements as it's a brute, not too sweet, uh, and some toasty elements. So yeah, like toastiness, some good acidity, and lots of fresh flavors really, so that's, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's been made traditional method, so a bit like champagne. So, wine number one, Pata Negra. Um, and for all of these, I'm gonna put up a, an image of the bottle um, and uh, the name of the, of the wine as well, so you can take a look at it. Brilliant, right, so I can see 
another bottle hanging out of the top here, which is going to be another sparkling. Uh, it's pink, so I'm guessing rosé. It just depends on which one it is. Okay, what have we got? Wow, okay, fantastic. Uh, I've got Snapper Rock, so uh, a New Zealand uh, Pinot Noir rosé. Um, again, it's made the traditional method, so the champagne method, uh, which means that they've used the Pinot Noir um, uh, juice, uh, made it into a rosé, put it into bottle with a bit of extra sugar and a bit of extra yeast, and uh, the yeast dye and flavours coming from the yeast. Um, so, what am I expecting from this? Uh, red fruit. Definitely. Well, any any Pinot Noir uh, rosé usually gives you some parts of that. Uh, raspberry, cherry, strawberry, cranberry, uh, all lovely fresh red berries. Um, and then probably because it's been done traditional method, we're looking at smoothing the acidity out a little bit. Uh, it's going to have a breadiness, a toastiness, but I imagine it's going to be very smooth. Um, looking forward to that one, to try that. Uh, Especially now it's um, really sunny weather. It should be perfect for these uh, warm evenings. Warm days, the evenings aren't so warm at the moment, but the warm days in the garden, crack into this, I will, definitely. I've got a load of gardening to do. Fab, right, so white, I'm gonna have to have a little look. Oh, first time out of the gate. So we've got, ah, yeah. So we have um, a, a Rhone, a Rhone Valley white, uh, made by uh, Michel Chaputier. Um, I know this wine. It's a blended wine, a blend of white grapes. So you're looking at Grenache Blanc. Uh, this is where my brain has to go into the dusty corners to find <laughs> the information. Uh, Grenache Blanc, uh, Vermentino, Viognier and Roussin uh, blended. Um, so I know that it's a lovely dry white, it's got citrus, minerality, floral notes, uh, some crisp acidity, and a pretty moderate finish. Uh, it doesn't go on for too long, but it doesn't fade away too quickly. Uh, and I would probably have this. I've got some fish, so I'm probably going to have this with a bit of fish. That would be lush. So yeah, a French uh, white blend from the Rhone Valley. So. Um, we're three in out of the six, uh, and it's a really, really uh, varied uh, and interesting selection. And I mean, I'm going in blind. If you go onto the Bottles Facebook page, which I'll put up, um, and on the Twitter and on the Instagram, you'll find that, you know, it's not a, it's not a secret. Uh, and you have these fab bundles that you can take advantage of. Uh, and I mean, you're gonna struggle to find wines of this quality for that price, uh, and it gets delivered to your house. So it's worth it, it's absolutely worth it. Now, what else do we have? I'm hoping another white. I can see the top of this one. Whoa, yeah. So, uh, Two Rivers, Marlborough. So we're thinking Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, it's quite young. Um, it's from 2018, uh, and uh, I've got a feeling that this is going to have some classic New Zealand flavours. Uh, I know Two Rivers uh, like to do probably more tropical fruit flavours in their Sauvignon Blancs. So we're thinking of passion fruit, mango, pineapple. There will still be that classic gooseberry flavour, that, um, that tart berry flavour. Uh, maybe some freshly cut grass. Uh, again, we're not talking like a mouthful of grass. Very subtle, but it gives a kind of a herbaceousness to it. Uh, some citrus, maybe. Some lemon, some lime, some grapefruit. I haven't tried this one for a while, so it, it, it's hard to remember. But I'm thinking along those lines. Fresh, punchy Sauvignon Blanc. Beautiful. Yeah, looking forward to have that as well. Great. So uh, we've had two sparklings and two whites. We're on to the red stuff now. What have we got here? Oh, great. Uh, Barossa Valley Shiraz, Pioneer Road. Uh, it's a reserve as well, so it's going to have a little bit more body to it. Uh, it means that it's been on oak uh, and it's going to be having the classic flavours that you'd expect from a, coming up, a, a fairly younger reserve Shiraz. Uh, so we're looking at plum, 
uh, raspberry, supple fruit, um, some good tannins in there, maybe some spicy notes, maybe some chocolatey notes as well. Um, and that would be fantastic. I, I'm, I've got, I'm going to have to crack the barbecue out because that would be lush with a nice bit of steak. Supoib. Right. Wow, this is uh, quite a selection. Uh, and we're on to the last one. Uh, it feels like I've rushed through it a bit, but um, I just wanted to give you an overview of what you get in one of these boxes. Uh, right. Last but not least. Oh, wow. Okay. Now this one's exciting. So we have a, um, a Tuscan red. Um, I think it's a Super Tuscan, which means that it's going to be a blend of a um, Italian wine and a non-indigenous wine, one that doesn't come from the country. Now I'm pretty sure this one will be a Sangiovese Merlot blend. Um, so we call it a Super Tuscan. But I know for a fact we're, we're going to be getting black fruit, all the great black fruit. So plum, black cherry, blackberry, uh, maybe some really, really ripe red fruit, uh, almost jammy red fruit in there. Uh, a lovely chocolatey finish um, and not too much tannin. It's going to have a, a little bit of savoury element to it as well because it's coming from Sangiovese. But that is a treat. Uh, it's, it's quite a young Super Tuscan. But um, it's got good alcohol content, 13.5%. Wow, what a fantastic uh, array of wines I've been dropped off. And all of those for 70 quid. I mean, you're going to struggle to get that sort of value uh, in most places. Uh, and, and I can see kind of applications for all of them, really, in my, in my week. I'll probably take a little bit longer than a week to get through these, but... Um, I like, I like all of them, I like the sound of all of them, um, and that's one of the lockdown bundles. Now I think they range from about £50 to £150. £150 has more bottles in them and things like that. Um, it just depends on uh, how many people in your household, how many you're going to think you're going to be getting through. But uh, there's no surprises, all of the wines are on there. Um, it's a special offer, uh, so the, the wines in there unfortunately can't be changed. Um, but if you, if you did want to add any more to your order, then that's super simple. Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm half tempted to crack open the uh, Pinot Noir Rosé straight away. Uh, thanks for joining me for this unboxing. Um, uh, remember to uh, keep track of our social media at Bottles Wine Bar. Um, check out the Beardy Wine Guide podcast. Uh, um, that's going to be having uh, new episodes weekly and uh, most of all have a great day and stay safe. Ciao for now.